you know, exciting to get a, a CAA win, one that um, you know we we really needed. You know, not knowing kind of how you know the, the last two weeks are going to play out. You know, you can only control kind of that the the day that you're in, and then that you know that game that you get to prepare for. So uh, I thought you know for the week of practice that we had, and um, you know the the determination that these guys showed in practice, you know, it came through for us uh, today uh, in a good way, and especially in that fourth quarter, um, you know, going into a tide, you know, it came down to, to, to what team really executed at a high level, and, and these guys really stepped up and earned a tough win. Questions for student athletes? Joey, Rene, Uh, I mean, we were sharing the ball pretty well throughout the whole game. I think in the fourth quarter, we just really cashed in on our opportunities at the, at the goal, whereas in the first three, we were hitting pipes, and he was making saves, and finally cashed in on our hard work in the fourth quarter. Yeah, I think our, our team just, just came together as a whole. Everything just started clicking in the fourth, and when that happens, you know, momentum comes your way. So. Alex, why, why was it so easy for you today? Um, you know, they, they sent a pole out there, so as my job, you know, I should I should get the clamp against against the pole, and from there, um, just just exit to open space, and me and coach work on that every day. So it was uh, something I'm kind of used to going against coach Madeline every day. So. I think one thing we've proven is that we're consistently inconsistent. Uh, it's you know, never a great thing to, to have uh, within the team. Um, but I think our guys understand that you know it, it just doesn't happen on game day. You know, and I think that's something that we're continuing to learn as a as a team, um, but but definitely as an offense in regards to the, the preparation that needs to go into it during the week. You know, the, the work beyond practice um, that you know puts you. In those situations, you know, with the with the film work and, and getting some shooting in on your own, and you know, not just shooting to, to get shots in, getting the shots in that you expect to get in a game. So, um, obviously, we're we're trying to do our best to to be more consistent, to to limit the turnovers, you know, that we've had throughout the year, and um, be able to to cash in when we have opportunities. You know, I went in at halftime with the offense and. Um, I was a little frustrated because I felt like, you know, we earned a lot of opportunities that we didn't finish off, you know, and I wanted them to reward the effort that they were putting in because we shared the ball, you know, and we at times hadn't done that well, um, you know, in previous games. Uh, so we wanted to, uh, again, obviously finish that off and, you know, I don't know if we wore Delaware down and that took us into the fourth quarter to allow us to be a little bit more successful or not. But, you know, they, they offensively, I thought we stayed pretty consistent with the way we shared the ball and then creating good opportunities today. You touched on a little bit with inconsistencies and how that's been a problem. <clears throat> but today, how does it feel not only to pull out the win, but to have several guys step up and uh, contribute to the game? That's what I think our offense needs. Um, you know, we, you know, and then the offensive guys can can speak to this. You know, we preach doing your one sixth, and we don't, you know, we don't don't put the ball in one guy's stick and. Let him operate and, and hope he makes a good play. And then other guys just kind of stand and watch. We need everybody working together, you know, whether with or without the ball, and and moving it when we need to, taking good opportunities, you know, when we need to, if they're not going to slide and uh, force us to move the ball. Um, so I think the guys are continuing to, to learn how to embrace that and understanding that for us to be successful as a, as a program, and um, you know, that's what we feel is is important to us. I think the reason was for the uh, so many pipes today. Trying to go high a lot into the No, um, you know, we wanted to obviously mix up some shots. You know, he's a big kid, so he tried to test them, you know, kind of around the, the outside of his, his legs, if he can, kind of change up high to low. Um, he, he's shown vulnerability in, in a few spots, but he's also shown to, to kind of take some in, in those same spots, too. Um, you know, I, I liked how aggressive we were being, you know, but hitting those pipes, obviously, you know, gets you, I don't want to say frustrated, but, you know, you just, you know, you know you're that close. You need to, to cap it off. And um, credit to the offense. You know they didn't really get down and discouraged. You know because they were hitting pipes and things. They just stayed aggressive and continued to work towards it. You know we 
they weren't aiming for pipes. So. How did you assess the defense? Uh, decent. Luckily, you know, because of Alex, I don't think we had to play a ton of defense uh, with the amount of faceoffs that we were winning. Um, you know, we played quite a bit of zone uh, just to allow, hopefully, them to, to stay on a rhythm offensively. They got some pretty, you know, pretty talented guys down there, and I, I think, um, you know, Kitchen's one of the, the best guys in the conference. Um, you know, and, and as a sophomore, you know, really, really good. Uh, so we were, I was, I know we were pretty concerned about him making sure that we. He didn't get comfortable, and then they got good guys around him, obviously. Um, but I thought we did a good job mixing up between the, the man stuff, more zone than, than normal. Shane, I thought, bailed us out a, a couple times. But you know when you, know, you, you kind of hope for that when you don't see a, a ton of possession time down there and that your goalie can you know, stay consistent making the good ones and then steal a couple and, and put those guys uh, offensively in, in some tough spots. I see a lot of rebounds from watching film earlier in the season. Did you get a scoop up and put them back in? Yeah, we harped on every time we shot low. We knew there was going to be a rebound. He never really uh, made any clean saves low on film. So Coach Gallardi stressed the fact that we were going to get a couple rebound goals and um, like just finish it right after it bounced off of him. What do you see as the key to the offense right now? Um, moving the ball. Uh, it didn't really st the ball didn't really stay in uh, one person's stick too long today, and I think that uh, if we keep sharing the ball and doing our one six, that we're gonna be uh, successful.